The topic of this video is rewriting absolute value inequalities using a number line. We now continue the previous video's problem. So, for each one of these, we've already done the shading part. Now we just have to write the inequality involving star. Remember, star could be any algebraic expression from your problem. However, in these particular instances, star should be treated like the variable. Remember the skills that we learned in our previous videos. One of those was to take a number line graph and write it as an inequality. Let's see if we can achieve that now. Let's talk about this first number line graph. X, or in this case star, represents the shaded values. In other words, star can be any number in between negative 8 and 8. The most important word I said in that sentence was between. This is a between type inequality, where star is in between negative 8 and 8. Now, star could be any number between negative 8 and 8, but allowing us to pretend that it's 0 for just a moment tells us what kind of inequality symbols we should put here. So, if this was a 0, what would be bigger, 0 or 8? The answer is 8, so we would put this kind of inequality symbol. And if star was a 0, what would be bigger, negative 8 or 0? The answer is 0, so we'd this put, we would put this kind of inequality symbol. Of course, since we have brackets on either end on our number line, these were both actually have to be less than or equal to type symbols. So the inequality that goes with this number line graph is the combined or three-part inequality. Negative 8 is less than or equal to star is less than or equal to 8. Let's move on to our next number line. This number line, the one shaded in green, is actually two inequalities because there are two pieces, the left of 0 and the right of 0. So, what do all of these numbers over here have in common? Well, they are all right of zero, which means they are greater than zero. So this collection of numbers would be star greater than zero. But this collection of numbers over here are all less than zero. So we would write less than. They are left of zero, less than zero. And finally, that brings us to our blue number line. These numbers here are to the right of 4, so we would say star is greater than 4. These are all to the left of negative 4, so we would say that these numbers are all less than negative 4. Okay? If you remember these rules, how to write a between type inequality and the greater than to the right and less than to the left rules, then you should be able to take any picture like this and turn it into an inequality statement. This will support your ability to solve inequality statements that involve absolute value, which is coming up soon.